Hey, first things first, congratulations. You just got married. Hey, congratulations. You got married. (laughs) Finally today, it is always great to catch up with Josh Rice, the man who breathes life into the New York State Puppet Festival, which begins this evening in our hometown of Perry down in Wyoming County. Head to the Puppet Festival site and you'll instantly be greeted with a warning to prepare for something unusual. Puppetry is fun and it's different and it's just a different kind of theater instead of actors uh, being the performers. Sometimes it's objects, sometimes it's uh, figures of a person um, as the performers, but it's just this whole world of theater uh, that is just a little bit different from what you might think about when you first hear puppetry and you might go to Kermit, who is an amazing and incredible puppet, but there's this whole breadth and scope of puppetry that we're excited to uh, introduce and reintroduce audiences to over the course of the next 10 days. The shows are intriguing. The performers world-class, including a fifth generation Japanese puppet master. And he's performing in a show called Shanks Mare, which is kind of a blend of traditional Japanese puppetry and live movie making. So there are miniature sets on the stage and we move a little camera across those little landscapes and then those landscapes become the background on a projection screen for the puppets to interact in front of. So it's like live movie making in a certain way with this incredible Japanese virtuosic puppeteer. Another show draws inspiration from professional wrestling. You'll also see puppets that are bigger than life, created by the longtime puppeteers of Bread and Puppet Theater. There are even workshops where you can learn to make your own paper mache creation. You can find the full list of shows and activities on NewYorkStatePuppetFestival.com. And Josh and company are making sure this unique event is accessible to everyone with some free or pay-what-you-can events. It's also, if we can shamelessly plug our hometown, a lively weekend to visit Perry. That's right. The Silver Lake Brewing Project's fifth anniversary uh, is on Saturday, so that's really exciting. So you can see some puppets, you can have some wonderful beverages, see some incredible music across the street, and then come back and maybe see some more puppets. It's a win-win for everybody. Cheers to that. This is Kate Wellshofer. Be well, stay well, and weird. And we'll see you next time.